Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about functions in JQL. Using function in JQL is only available in advanced search. So basic search won't provide you the ability to, to, to use functions. Now functions maximize the efficiency in JQL. Before we actually get into the details of or see the examples, let's see what exactly is a function. So function performs useful calculations behind the scenes and return a value that you can compare with the search query. And it fits exactly in the same search query clause that we have learned before, field, operator, and value. So in place of value, you just substitute the value with the function. And what function does is, function calculates the value from the criteria that you have provided and returns a value and then in turn that value is compared with uh, the actual value is compared with the field and the query is performed now let's look at some of the important functions with example now there are many functions available in jql but most common ones can be categorized into three. The first one is functions that involve time, second functions involving people and third functions involving issues. Now let's get started with the functions that involve time. So click on issues, search for issues and switch to advanced search so that you can type in the JQL query. Now first example I want to show you is let's Let's say you want to find issues in open sprints. So what function you can utilize to find issues in open sprints? You can what you can say is you can just say sprint in and then use open sprints function and hit enter and it will list all the issues that are in open sprints. Second example you want to find issues that are created in last two days. So let's say what function you can use that use. So the query would be issues. Sorry, um, created is greater than or equal to use the function start of the day and provide minus two. So you want to find all the issues that are created in past two days and hit enter and will list all the issues that were created in last two days. Now third example I want to cover is you want to find issues that were created in last eight hours. So what query you need to write is is say created is greater than or equal to minus eight hours and created use the function now less than now and hit enter and it will list all the issues that were created in last eight hours so what what's the difference between the previous query that we used to search issues created in last two days and between the query that we are seeing now in last eight hours. So the difference is when you use start of the day function, then the time that it starts is from the 12 a.m. midnight of the day that you specify. But if you want to find issues between the current time and past four hours or past eight hours, then you have to use now function to return the current time and then it calculates the uh, it uh, brings the results for the past duration that you are that you want to specify now second category of function is involving people so for example you want to find issues assigned to current logged in user okay as we have saw before so what you used to do is assignee is equal to I'm logged in so I'll search 
the issues that are assigned to me and will list all the issues that are assigned to myself. But can you use the same query? So for example, I want to save this query and save and share with other, other of my team members. Can they use the similar query without editing it? They, they cannot because I have hard coded my name as the assignee there. So everyone in the team, if they are using this query wherein assignee is hard coded, they have to use, they have to update the query with their name and then use the query. So to avoid that, you can use a function called as current user. Okay, so if I say assignee is equal to current user, then it will list the same results for me and if I save and share this query with other of my team members then they can directly use the query because current user function will query whosoever is currently logged into the system and return that particular value to be compared with the assignee field. Second example I want to take is issues created by a particular group or particular member of your team okay so what function you can use so creator use creator in and then members of okay and this is the software user group that I have so any any member within this group I want to find issues for any of the members that are in this group okay so if you enter it will list all the issues that were created by members of this particular group now third category or third functions or third set of function that I want to cover is functions involving issues okay so first example is you want to find issues that you are watching so what you can use is issue in watched issues okay so any issues that you are currently watching it will list all the issues that you are currently watching second example would be you want to find issues that you re that you had a look most recently so you can use the function issue history so issue in issue history and will list all the issues that you have currently watched so it, it lists top 50 but uh, since i haven't watched all 50 yet i mean i have only watched 34 so it's returning only 34 results so that is pretty much all about searching with functions in next tutorial, we will learn about searching with dates and text. Thank you.